Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Baked As Cooking. Today we're making La Von Trap de Couche, so enjoy. For La Von Trap de Couche, you're gonna need beef rump steak, Heller's Danish streaky bacon, Peter's pepperoni salami, an avocado, jalapenos, and finally... Fuck it. Let's just make a cheese sandwich. Right guys, so to start with our cheese sandwich, let's get some bread. I like to keep my bread frozen because uh, it blocks in all that really good frozeny goodness. But uh, we can't make a frozen sandwich, right? So we're going to need to defrost it with our microwave. Now this is a Panasonic microwave, right? It's got a door opener. It's pretty sick, eh? So we're going to bang our bread in there. I suggest maybe uh, 20 seconds. Right, that bread should be done now. Let's crack open the microwave and let's have a look at it. Now, as you can see, the bread is nicely defrosted. It's on the plate, ready to go. Now, my doctor has watched some of our latest videos and he's advised me not to make so many fatty foods. So today, we're using Flora Buttery. Not only is it made with sunflower seed oil, but it also has omega-6 and vitamin E. Mmm, that's good for the heart. Right, so we're going to get some good buttering skills in here, right? I've had a few good comments lately about my, uh, about my buttering skills, and uh, it just takes me back to the days where Grandpappy would sit me down on his knee and he'd say to me, One day you're going to be the best damn butterer there is, and only then will you understand what life is truly about. Grandpappy. You were right. So that's basically why I'm really good at buttering bread. Right, the next step for our cheese sandwich is getting the cheese ready. Ladies and gentlemen, you know me. How else would I grate something? Then with a tiny cheese grater. Oh yeah, I freaking love this tiny cheese grater, man. I don't know where it came from, but shit, it can grate some cheese. I mean, look at this. Oh yeah, see how I'm getting nice fine slithers? That can just mean that when I let it sit, it can really aerate properly and we can get some real nice tasting cheese. We're almost there. Right, that's enough cheese. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in the fridge just to uh, aerate out for a bit, like I said before. Right, back to the cheese. Oh, Refrigerating that grated cheese just made it aerate so much more and I can get a little bit more texture out of it. Oh shit, that's good. Right, last step, time to put the cheese in the sandwich. What I like to do with my sandwiches is spread my cheese out so that I don't have too much cheese in one area because a cheesy area is always just, always just wrong in my opinion. So spread that around like that, top on top and Bob's your uncle. And finally, I'm just going to grate a tiny bit of cheese to go on top for a garnish. Thanks for watching today's episode of Baked Dad's Cooking. And remember, when you can't be fucked, just make a cheese sandwich. Mmm. That is fantastic. Right. Remember me to keep on commenting, and I'll promise to answer every comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe, and share us around. See you later, guys. Have a good one. So I was a bit hungry after having that cheese sandwich, so I made a couple of toasties, but I set the setting to steak sear. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Holy shit. <laughs>